Hey everyone, welcome to a video for Win 911 2021 and factory talk alarms and events. My name is Jeremiah and I'm the training and technical support manager here at Win 911. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make the connection from Win 911 into your factory talk alarms and events server and then how to make some subscriptions to bring in alarms. So if you open up the Win 911 workspace here uh, you can see the new workspace if we go down through alarm sources right these are all collapsible and you can even collapse the menu here you want to go into alarm sources and your factory talk option and you're going to click add a new application so you can give it a name this is completely user defined and you can give it a description if you'd like uh, now this is uh, the main settings for connecting to your existing factory talk alarm and events server. So whether it's local or networked, the application name itself within factory talk, exactly as it appears in the application, and then a username and password. So uh, if you're not sure of what these are, you can always just open up your factory talk view studio and whatever application you're using you'll see at the very top here it says network for the local host because i'm running it here on this machine so this would say network or this would say local as the first word depending on what the application type is so since we're using network we would make sure network is selected the application name is right here ft view demo for me and you'd put whatever your exact factory talk application name is there so we'll go ahead and put that in and then a username and password now I recommend that you create a dedicated user for win 911 that way the password doesn't change and it's not dependent on somebody else managing their own account so in the factory talk view studio you can expand users and groups and users and you can see I've made a win 911 user and all you want to do is make sure you add it add it to the administrators group as a membership and password never expires so I've already created that user so we're just gonna plug it in 911 my password and that's pretty much it for the connection settings you can click test connection and there you go connection successful now if you don't get this green check mark and the connection successful you just want to go back and double check your settings uh, make sure that it's either local or network make sure that you have the exact application name case sensitive the way that it's shown in your factory talk view studio and then make sure that the username and password is correct for the user account so once you're done there connection is good and then we get down into what you want to subscribe to meaning what what do you want to see brought into win 911 so you can see is the option up here in the global settings for just alarms or alarms and events and checkbox for good quality events only check that if you do not want to see any uh, bad or uncertain quality events and then this next section right here no subscriptions configured so you want to expand that and we have this new window for adding a subscription right here into the same page and essentially all this is doing is giving you a, a box to name the filter itself the subscription route itself and then what notification policy are the alarms that are caught by this subscription gonna go to right so I've made my custom policy and there's the list, the drop down list includes the ones that are predefined within Win911. It comes with those automatically acknowledge, do not notify, or notify all contacts. I'm going to send it to my custom policy that I've created. So the all alarms and events, this is just the default name. Um, you can absolutely just use this button for all alarm and events and send everything that's in that alarm and event server to your policy, and you could be done if you want to see everything if you don't have anything else to filter or specify that's totally fine now you should get everything that is in that alarm and events server to go to your notification policy uh, however if you want to customize it i'm going to show you how to do that you can always come back here and click on this drop down 
carrot and then select filters instead of all alarms and events. That pops open a couple other options here. You can select alarm and events again, alarms only or events only. We're going to keep it alarm and events. And then you have this add filter button. So this is how you start building out your custom filters that are going to be pulling in those specific alarms that you want brought into Win911. So the first drop down, you can filter on class, group, name, severity. Those are the fields you can filter on. And then how to filter is by wildcard. You can do a regular expression, contains or does not contain. So for example, we will do um, a group and a group that contains the word win911. So this is saying as long as it contains this text, it will grab and match those. Now you can make these um, pretty complex and continue to add filters and use these and and or, uh, make them as complex as needed. The group contains Win911 and the name contains Tank, for example. This is now a filter that as long as the alarms come from the group Win911 and the alarm name contains the word Tank, it'll grab those alarms. And when it grabs those alarms, matches these filter criteria, it's sending it to your notification policy you selected right up here. Now, if you don't want to use the, the contains, um, the other option here for wildcard might be better if you have multiple tanks, for example. So if you had tank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, however many you have, you can just do tank star. And that's what that wildcard field is for. Uh, it gives you the option to enter in that asterisk, that star. And it'll say it'll match anything with tank and anything after that. So this will grab tank 1 and tank 2 and etc. all the way through anything that matches tank with something after it. And you can save that. And if you ever need to come back and edit it, you can just click on this drop down carrot again and say, okay, you know what, I really don't need to filter on, on the, the name for tank because I just want everything in this in this group that I've assigned to Win911 in the Factory Talk Alarm and Events server. So let's go ahead and just delete that criteria here. Again, the add filter adds that other layer where you can say and or and go ahead and delete it if you don't need it. And this is back to just a basic any alarm in the group of Win911 send to this notification policy. Now, you don't want to keep this default name of all alarms and events since we're actually creating a filter for the group of Win911. So for me, I would recommend just saying Win911 group. And you can save that. Now, one thing I would recommend, especially for the initial setup, you don't have to keep this around long term, uh, but especially in the beginning, add another subscription for all alarm and events. Just keep that button selected. Don't go into the filters, just all alarm and events. And you can send that to a do not notify. And the alarms can only match one of these subscriptions, right? So if you create a list, of you know five different filter criteria for your subscriptions an alarm can only match one as soon as it matches one let's say it matches the win then one group it goes to that notification policy and it's done it's not going to match against multiple so these are just kind of like firewall rules once it matches one it goes there and it's done so the reason i recommend adding this all alarm and events is that if this filter isn't working right or you know the alar alarms aren't getting caught by it maybe there's an issue with the filter criteria you've created we're not going to see any of the alarms with just this first line because we're not matching correctly for those and uh, what i would recommend doing is keeping this all alarms and events filter in here so that you can at least see in the log viewer that the ones that are not getting caught by this subscription are going to be caught by everything else right all alarm and events are going to go to do not notify and you'll see that in the log viewer and then you know you might have to tweak the uh, the filter you've created come back in here and, and if you were using wildcard maybe change to just contains or, or change where your wildcard is um, but that's just a good 
testing rule of thumb in the beginning here, make that extra line as a catch-all. Okay, so we're good to go. We have a good connection. We have a filter criteria set up, and we have a catch-all of all alarms and events going to do not notify. And at this point, uh, if you have active alarms that should be happening in your factory talk alarm and event server, you can just open the log viewer and you'd be able to see that you are getting alarms, as you can see here. Uh, all I did was open up my um, my factory talk alarm and events server and double click that. I had gone in here and just right click add group and I made one called a win 911 and I assigned uh, tank one underscore pressure to it. If you wanted to assign all of the ones that you want win 911 to get, you can just come into the, your other folders of other alarms, uh, do the administration work and, and change any of the alarms that you want sent to win 911 to be part of that group. So you can go into properties, the alarm group currently, and you can select the new Win911 group. Uh, that just is ease of administration. and Everything that should be going to Win911 can just be in one alarm group. And you can see I have my Win911 group going to my custom policy and a catch-all of all alarms and events. I want to do not notify. And then I have my uh, alarms being generated here in a demo that are all part of the Win911 group for this Tank 1 pressure. That all of these alarms for the Tank 1 pressure are going to my custom policy. And that's it. You can continue to make filters to grab in different groups of alarms and send them to the right notification policy and customize as you see fit. Thank you so much. Have a great day.